Hey up ladies and fellas, welcome to another video. This week you join us on a short trip to the Lake District, staying for one night in this railway cabin at Mossside Farm. It's our 10th wedding anniversary and we booked this last minute as a little mini escape. It's a fairly simple cabin with a few beds, a kettle and a wood burning stove. All you need for a one night stay really. Outside there's a picnic table and a fire pit with a great view out into the valley. We've been to Moss Side a few times before, a couple of times in the roof tent and this is the second time we've stayed in this cabin. Although we've stayed here a few times, we've never actually walked down into Broughton itself. With the weather looking beautiful and this being a bit of a celebration, we thought we'd work out how to walk in for a few pints and some scron. How do you think it, how far do you think it is then? It says 50 minutes. So that yeah, well that said 40 minutes, minutes so... 40 minutes is a perfectly acceptable walk for pints in my book, so off we go. We arrived back to the site at about 8.30pm and set about getting ready for a night round the campfire. We ended up getting pretty lucky with this day. It was the Sunday at the end of half term so all the other cabins were empty and it really felt like we had the whole place to ourselves. We set up our chairs, lit the fire and just took in the view. It wasn't long until these quacking chavs came over, spoiling the peace and harassing us. Only joking, there's a real abundance of wildlife on this site. Dogs, ducks, goats are all roaming freely, and cows in the surrounding barns and fields. It's an awesome camping spot for any animal lovers like ourselves. This campsite is actually adults only. Even at busy times it's generally pretty peaceful, but this night was something else. 
It was basically like wild camping, just complete silence for the most part, and we absolutely loved the feeling of solitude it gave us. We sat for a couple of hours just taking in the scenery, with no sound but the crackle of the fire and Boris making his bed. Eventually the darkness started to set in and the views disappeared for the night, so we decided it was time to head indoors and get our heads down. The next day we were planning to explore some parts of the lakes we hadn't really had the chance to go before, so we got some much needed shut eye ready for the big day ahead. After narrowly avoiding sharing our breakfast with Daffy and Donald, we started to get packed away ready to head into Coniston. The plan was to head into the town first for coffee and second breakfast, and then head down to the lake and spend some time chilling by the water. As I've already mentioned, Coniston is somewhere we haven't really spent that much time around, so we were both keen to see what it had to offer. First stop, coffee. My half, your half. All right, my half, your half. To be fair, I'm not hungry at all, so. Why not? Good job, it's all mine then, isn't it? Caffeine levels topped up, we were ready for a paddle in the lake. We got the boys loaded up into the car and made our way down to the shore. We parked down at Monk Coniston Car Park, which is perfectly located a 30 second walk from the edge of the lake itself. With the warm sunshine and people all around enjoying themselves, it really was starting to feel like summer has finally arrived. It might have been a Monday morning, but the car park was already buzzing with people blowing up paddle boards and kayaks. Just like uh, Daniel Craig coming out of water. Good boy. 
man. Yeah. That's one. Yeah. You're learning now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, then, you get it. Have you got water in his ears? Ah, oh, good boy, don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Ah, you ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> We spent a couple of hours just laid by the water and then packed up and hit the road. We were heading somewhere that I've always wanted to visit in the lakes but never really been near the area to do so. Tarn House. Tarn House is a National Trust location and despite being a relatively short walk at under two miles, it offers stunning mountain views and beautiful countryside. A great place to walk or to begin your wider Lake District countryside adventure. There are also rare belted Galloway cattle and sturdy Herdwick sheep grazing by the tarn. Tarn House is located in the low level hills between the villages of Coniston and Hawkshead and is ideal for a walk or cycle trip from either. It's a favourite with both regular and first time visitors to the area and is popular with artists and photographers who love the setting and the views. After a couple of miles wandering around the tarn, we headed back to the car, and so ends another amazing short stay in the lakes. Thanks for watching.